it's your girl tj it's your girl tj i am back and today i'm doing this flawless freaking install y'all look at this do y'all see that? It's freaking insane. If you guys want to see how I got this flawless in style, y'all got to stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to turn your notifications on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we do have Nadula here and it's time for us to do another install. So I am going to be trying different techniques and things with this install because sometimes you get tired of doing the same old thing. And I do have their Brazilian textured hair and this is curly hair i'm super excited because it's long it is long so so yeah if i'm wrong with any of the information or i forgot to say any of the information just check the description section below all the correct information will be there so like i said it is a 13 by 4 i believe it's 150 percent and density and the length of this unit is 24 inches okay so this is the hair straight out of the package this is the texture of it okay it doesn't have a smell if you have to smell a unit this you know see if it has a smell or it doesn't have a smell so this is what it looks like and up close this is the texture of it y'all this hair is so pretty okay it is so pretty and this is the hairline and look at this hairline y'all i was thinking i was have to go go in and just do a little bit pluck in i always see but this hairline is flawless okay they did leave a portion out for the baby hair this is the construction like i said it's a 13 by 4 so this is the amount of room you have it does have two combs one comb here a comb over here a comb back here and it also has drawstrings in the back Oh my gosh okay okay this is beautiful okay this is what it looks like when it's just placed on my head i'll be y'all i'll be getting into it i'll be scratching all up in here making it feel like my own this is what it looks like when everything is pulled back oh my gosh like i really don't need to do it it's just back here that i'll just want a little bit more define this just in here i'm just gonna take some tweezers and you know go in and just thin it out so i'll be back once i put foundation on it and we're gonna get to laying it down so i'm gonna take some of my she keratin silk infusion heat protectant i'm just gonna take a little bit and place it on my hairline you have to be really lightweight with this because a little goes a really long way and it can make your hair very very much weighed down so i would say use a dime size but this stuff smells so freaking good, y'all. It smells amazing. I'm just gonna put that all up in there. And I'm gonna just pull my lace down and black, I mean, a <laughs> hot comb. All right, you guys see that ledge right there? Y'all see that? Or no, y'all don't see that? I see it. So now I'm just gonna pin it back and I'm gonna work in sections and cut the lace off. That way I can see what I'm doing. And I just picked this eyebrow razor up from Dollar Tree. Y'all know Dollar Tree got the good. So yeah, I'm just gonna take some scissors just to cut it in sections first, like that. These are trash scissors, the heck? All right, guys, so I did switch over to um, voiceover, y'all. If my audio sounds a little bit trashy, I do apologize. I don't have my mic with me. I'm using my Apple um, headphones that come with the phones. Yeah, the microphone on that, that's what I'm using. But I'm using my eyebrow razor to cut off the rest of the excess of the lace. I feel like this creates the jagged edges more easier. And of course, cutting behind your ear, just use a pair of scissors. So. Today's Wendy, I want a good strong hold and my got to be glue, high insta hold will get the job done. Um, with this spray y'all, your, your wig is not flying off, okay? I normally just do one layer and I don't know if people are new to the game, but these sprays are not any type of glue. This removed with water or alcohol, it comes right off. Um, I'm trying to learn how to do an install with no baby hairs. Y'all seen I never did it before because I don't know how. So I've been, you know, trying to perfect my craft. And when it comes to that, I probably say it almost in every install. But I feel like this is one of the better install days because um, I took the end of the, the comb, the rat tailed part, and I put the... Um, 
the got to be glue on the end of that and then pressed it into the hairline as well and i feel like it made it look more seamlessly i feel like this is one of the you know better installs that i have without adding baby hairs and you guys will see but after i fully install it i'm gonna sit under um a silk scarf and put some hot heat on it for about a good five minutes then let it sit for another 10 and then you know i'm gonna show you what we got but i feel like me going back and adding the spray after i did it it really really helped you know clear away that line of demarcation let me know if you guys seen a little bit of difference from my previous um videos but we're gonna go ahead and take her off i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we're working with and look at that i feel like that came out bomb like this i was just cleaning up a few areas that i seen i think that was another other clip though that was after my baby ears but <laughs> i feel like it came out 10 times better than normal let me know what you guys think but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and cut my baby hairs first and then i'm gonna go in with my part um and create a part because today we're doing a middle part and I just used the back of my comb to do that. And to define my part, I always use concealer because I love for my part to pop. I'm just going back in with some hairspray just to lay it down a little bit more. I don't like spraying the um, hairspray on the part, so I just use wax so it can look just as natural as possible. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put that concealer on. And if you mess up or make your part too wide, just use a baby wipe or, um, yeah, just use a baby wipe. I'm saying a baby wipe, I mean a makeup remover. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna take my hot comb and flatten that out and then go ahead and swoop my baby ears And I mix foam wrap lotion with um, the spray um, I just made a little concoction like when on the table I just you know sprayed it down and use my um, edge brush to swoop my baby hairs All right, so I let it sit for another 10 minutes. I did add a heat and y'all look at this beauty, look at this beauty. Now I am gonna come out the hairline because it looks a little hard. I did leave it, I did put too much heat on it, but I'm just gonna comb it out and y'all gonna see it's gonna look freaking flawless. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my curly hair routine. You guys seen me do this a thousand times. I only use three products, water, um, a moisturizer and a frizz serum. serum. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in the description section below. I really hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the ending. I'll give you guys an overall review of this unit. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video and this is what my hair is looking like right now and I'm super super excited and amazed at how it turned out. So I really feel like this hairline though, like nobody can come for me, nobody can come for me today because this hairline is on freaking fire and like i said i just did a little bit of uh customization when it came down to the unit i just they already had it plucked to the freaking gods okay they already had it you didn't need to go in and do that but y'all know i'm just a little bit extra that as you guys seen i didn't wash it i can date condition it. i didn't do any of that um i used two products in particular or i put it in the description section below of what i used to get this now the hair is still wet but these curls y'all they're so juicy and they're so just very very defined and i'm loving it of course it's gonna get a little bit more poofier when it dries completely um i would say it's about 85 percent dry right now it's just damp it's not like so soaking wet so, y'all I didn't know it was gonna sound like this so I'm really really <laughs> I'm just amazed okay um so as far as shedding this unit did give me some shedding like I said I did go in a little bit more and customize the unit and also cut 
um the lace off so that could contribute to the shed just normal okay well curly hair is going to shed with virgin hair body wave whatever type of hair you got is going to shed um so don't let nobody fool you and say it don't shed because they all shed um it's not dramatically it's not just falling out all over the place where it's um unbearable but you will have shedding here and there um, I did get a few snags during the detangling process, but not whatsoever when I was defining my curls because that's how you really tell you got some bomb curly hair because you can just glide your fingers like butter right through it. And I just live for this, y'all. This is some bomb popping curly hair that I feel will be great for a summer vacay. And so, y'all know summertime is coming up. Hopefully, we're still not in quarantine um, by summertime, which is in June. So, um, y'all, I will get you this unit. I swear, I have look sis it's just too pop and i love it it's nice and soft um my curly hair routine doesn't um end up in it crunching or being hard i just use water a moisturizer and a frizz tamer and this is what i get so yeah i don't have any cons about this hair because it's just too popping if you guys want to check it out yourself don't forget to leave every well don't forget to check out the description section below and the information will be there and also yeah <laughs> everything will be there so hope you guys enjoyed again let me know what you guys just thought in the comment section below and until next time you go we'll see you later bye guys